I'm at the OSU Insight Zoo with Andrina Morrison. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for coming. Now, you've volunteered your time with this Insect Zoo for the past, what, five years? Five years. But now, there's an exciting new opportunity here. Can you tell us about that? I'd be glad to. Um, the facility, uh, the program's been, in, in, uh, it, been working for about 20 years, and now, just in this last summer, we've been granted a full-time position so that we can offer full-time programs to the public. I work as the educational coordinator for the uh, outreach of the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology. Now, can you tell me a little bit about your facility here and sure. what you have to offer the yeah. public? Just in the past few years, we've put together a nice public facility where people can come and visit the insect zoo, mm -hmm. um, usually an hour-long program to come and visit. It's kind of a petting zoo situation where you get hands-on experience with the critters. Oh. And so we'll have people come in, and then we'll have the zoo all set up, mm -hmm. and we'll kind of work through all the different species. This is sort of our arachnid table. Okay. And we have tarantulas that people can handle, and all the, what we consider dangerous species in the United States, the black widow and the brown recluse, for people to look at up close and get familiar with. Ticks, and we have one of my favorites. This is a whip scorpion, also known as a vinegaroon. It's a harmless animal, has no way to hurt people, yeah. but it is fearsome to look at. It's fairly intimidating. Yes, yes, it's an arachnid, it has eight legs and has a little tail. So it's a predator, a meat eater, but his mouth part's too small to really mm -hmm. hurt us. We have scorpions for everybody to handle and look at and talk about. And one of the things we try and uh, really work with people when they come to the insect zoo to visit is to lay aside some of those fears that we've developed over watching too much television or watching yeah. silly movies and try and get past that and get to the ecology of these guys, which they run the planet and they make all the cycles on the planet function properly. And that's their important role, not just to scare us, that yeah. sort of thing. And you have a number of um, tools for We, we do. When kids come in, they'll have a, a chance to look up close with the microscopes mm -hmm. and, and uh, look at the features on these insects or these arachnids and really get to explore them. And we have a bunch of uh, walking sticks that they can handle and look at all the different defense mechanisms, mm -hmm. camouflage, bad smells, uh, hissing cockroaches, hiss, that sort of thing. All the, They can explore what the insects do. Yeah. Um, so one of those defense mechanisms, oh, yeah. you pointed out earlier the predator we have in here. Um, I can't get it out. The uh, assassin bugs. White-eyed assassin bugs, that's right. And this, these are eye spots, and they're trying to make their entire body look like the head of something larger than themselves mm -hmm. to protect themselves from being eaten. Wonderful defense uh, mechanism here. And some of the insects that you have featured here, you mentioned the cockroaches. These are the big hits. Yeah. yeah, with the kids, they love the hissing cockroaches, so we make everybody be very quiet. And we talk about how an insect breathes differently so that it can make a hissing sound by squeezing its butt. Now, if people want to come to the insect zoo, um, or they can have you visit as well, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're really adapted to all types of presentations or programs or events. Uh, the insect zoo is transportable, so we can go out to any event, and for that we charge because it takes all day to get through packing these guys up and then doing a presentation. And that fee is $175 inside Payne County. And uh, so we can go to any event. Then also to come to this facility, at this time it's by appointment only, but it's free. So you can come in and visit the insect zoo as long as you schedule an appointment. We're hoping by next fall and certainly by next spring that the facility will be open for several hours every day maybe three days a week starting mm -hmm. off and then we'll end up with every day of the week where people can just drop in and visit, but that's still a little bit in the future. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a wonderful facility and we're very excited to have you uh, out at Garden Fest. Everybody will need to come and see you then. Thank you. We're looking forward to it very much. Thanks.